You're watching The Trailblazers, where Shivy and I are bringing you 15 of the most forward-thinking millennials who are using digital technology to drive meaningful social impact. Thus far, we've featured the creators of a wearable that impacts your mood, a virtual reality app that takes you back in time, and software to help transform the lives of blind people. And this time, we're honing in the music industry. So Danny, it turns out that 91% of all artists are entirely undiscovered. So when I met the co-founder of Mixcloud, Nikhil Shah, on a BBC show recently that we were both on, I just knew we had to have him on the Trailblazers because Mixcloud is a highly well thought out talent discovery and music streaming service. Well also, he offered to give me a free DJ masterclass so that kind of sealed the deal. I'm just kidding. Exactly, and later I'll be talking to a female artist who got a big break through the service. Now Mixcloud gives undiscovered talent a shot at building a global fan base and non-musical folk like Shibby and I, a platform to find music that's created to our taste. Well, speak for yourself on the musical front. How do you know I'm not secretly an aspiring DJ, huh? Well, jokes aside, Nikhil was once a DJ and club promoter, and when he found himself super frustrated at the lack of music available to stream online that actually catered to his tastes, just as a trailblazer would, he did something about it and kicked off Mixed Cloud. Let's meet the man and the mix, shall we? So Nikki, look, thanks for doing this. I'm very excited to have you in my hot seat today. Thank you for being at our office. Okay, so when you started out with Mixcloud, and that was what, seven years ago, I believe you bootstrapped the business. Would you do that again? So we ended up bootstrapping, not by design, but because really we failed to raise funding at the start. Um, and then we ended up bootstrapping because it just became the way we built the business. We, we persevered, um, we ended up deciding not to take funding eventually because the tables turned, people asked us if they wanted to put money in. Clearly I would advocate for bootstrapping and I think there's not enough of a narrative around bootstrapping. Um, so I'm always happy to talk about it and talk about the upsides as well as the downsides. Nikhil, talk to us then about the user journey, right? So the current listening experience for someone that enters the Mixed Cloud. So Mixed Cloud is about creating a new form of radio and our mission is to help people discover great music and great ideas through the world's best radio creators and to try and build an experience for listeners that's you know, really simple and intuitive but a lot more personalised than the existing terrestrial radio. So Nikhil, for an aspiring DJ or radio jockey, how is Mixcloud giving this person the chance to build critical mass and a fan base and quite a global one at that? So Mixcloud at its core is a platform. You know, we are the pipes uh, where people can upload their show, whether that's a radio program that they produce every week or a you know, recording from a club night or a festival and share it to their, to their friends and their fans and their listeners. And we also then bring the new listeners on our service. So at its core, we are kind of a social network. The people that create content and upload stuff to Mixcloud, they're not singers and, and bands and songwriters and um, producers. They are DJs and curators they are making programs of other people's songs. So the idea really is that we can help you find a tastemaker that, that really kind of plays to the kind of music you're into. And if you find that tastemaker, we want you to become loyal to that person. So Nikhil, I believe your core demographic for Mixed Cloud, right, is millennials, 18 to 34 year olds, largely male, early adopters. Are you looking to widen that reach? And if so, how are you going to do that? So we do have an aspiration to, to grow outside of just millennials and early adopters because ultimately we have a, a belief that our, our platform appeals to you know, any listener that has a desire to discover new music. You know, our, our ambition is to build the best radio listening experience on the web. So Nikhil, obviously Mixcloud soaring success is evident, but I want to know what you've lost sleep over behind closed doors along the way. What hasn't quite worked? That's a, that's a good question and um, you know, being really honest about it, there are there are really tough times in the, in the journey building building a company, especially the way we've done it, which is bootstrapped. You know, we didn't pay ourselves a salary for the first two years, so I had to, you know, figure out how to how to like hustle on the side and pay the bills. I think some of the challenging areas come from just you know, cash, and then I guess the, the second thing would be that we are we work in a very competitive industry, um, and we're you know it's a little bit David versus Goliath. And you know, we've chosen to exist as a David, and that's really fun. You know, I love the business that I run. I love working with a small group of very passionate and very smart and very cool people. 
Um, but it's, you know, it makes it hard sometimes when we're competing with people who are you know, 10 times our scale and have a lot more resources and a lot more money to put to work. That's incredibly daunting. Well done for making it this far. And I'm sure you guys will go from strength to strength. So, Nikki, let's move on to you as a person. This is my favorite part, right? So what makes you tick? Now, you clearly went after something that wasn't there. You saw a void, you felt it personally, and then you created Mixcloud. Would you call yourself a self-starter and sort of hugely proactive in your personal life as well? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, probably um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. I do love to binge in front of the next Netflix series on a Sunday afternoon. As we all do. Um, and I've come to realise that I think I'm a bit of an evangelist. Um, I like to promote the things that I love to people around me. So Nikhil, this transition between when you were in your 20s and now your 30s, right? What sort of lifestyle changes have you gone through? Good question. Um, Tell us all. You know, my 20s was very much a decade of like being a club promoter, organising festivals, booking artists at festivals and living a nocturnal life, um, being out and not necessarily always partying, but you know, often it's, it's combined with work. Um, but that's kind of, that's really changed actually in the last couple of summers. And one of the things that's driven that is that uh, the, the cliche of turning 30 and starting to do my first triathlons. Um, so the festival weekends have been replaced with cycling days out and, and race days. And it's actually been a really, really cool transition and I've really enjoyed it. You've clearly swapped the 3 a.m. night shift of DJing at a turntable for something really healthy. So well done for that. I don't know if I would have that willpower, but hey. Nikhil, thank you for doing this today. I really enjoyed chatting to you. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Welcome to, <laughs> once again, to Mixed Garage. Did I mention I'm not leaving? I'm just gonna hang out here for this. All right, this cool. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to DJ later. Right? Exactly, thank you. So I'm in Shoreditch, at the heart of Tech City, to talk to Orzi, who's the very first female DJ to start using Mixcloud. Let's go and speak to her about her journey. So let's play ping pong and talk about Mixcloud, yeah? Cool. You're not a DJ, am I right? You're something called a selector. Well, yeah, I like to refer myself as a selector because, in my opinion, a DJ mixes tracks and I don't really mix. Uh, I just select music that I love and then play it to people. I was one of the first women to test Mixcloud when it first came out as a beta. And thanks to Mixcloud, uh, it just basically opened up the world to me, quite literally. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 would you say that without without those, how difficult would it be for you to kind of do your job and succeed without mixed clients? I think it would be very difficult because the platform is there not only so I can share music and mixes uh, that I love, but it kind of helps me connect with like-minded people. So, how does it actually feel to have kind of like a big social following? It's the biggest surprise of my life, and that's no joke. Like, it honestly, it amazes me every time, even though I've had radio shows up there that's had like 60,000 listens. Mm. But those ones and the ones like 1,000, it just, it literally amazes me that so many people would care about little old me. <laughs> ah! Missed it. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nikhil Shah of Mixcloud is a great example of someone who couldn't find the tech to fulfill his needs and so went out and created it himself. Exactly, Shivi. The likelihood is, if you have an intense desire for something, there just could be millions of others that share in that sense. After all, Mixcloud's user base is 10 million strong and going. Another day, another trailblazer. Thanks for watching. We're just going to keep going. We'll get like a heady lecture house structure from the back. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to, I think. Okay. Nikhil Shah of Mixcloud is... Why are you swinging around like that? Sorry. You're like, yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Lean back. Sorry. Lean back. Lean back. Ready? Yep. It's a great example. It's a great example. I like it. We're like, why? It's a thick <laughs> I got a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Do I ask?
smile, I smile. I, I can smile. I'm just happy, yeah. <laughs>